Hello ladies and gentlemen, I have an exam question here that came in the 2023 GC paper 1. The question says, figure B6.1 shows a, a, a ray of light traveling from glass to air to at an angle. The diffractive index of grass is 1.52, they have given us. Define the term critical angle, calculate the critical angle. So what is critical angle? Now, this is the only question that we have now. The two conditions for total internal reflection to occur give one application or use of total internal reflection. So, what are we talking about? So, here, here there are situations where when light strikes a medium, all right, it doesn't like image or move out, but it bounces back within the same medium. We call it total internal reflection. Now, this comes in contact with the critical angle. Then, what is a critical angle? A critical angle, this is an angle of incidence, an angle of incidence whose angle of refraction is 90 degrees whose angle of what refraction is 90 degrees you end there and you put a full stop that's what the critical angle is so this so this is what happens for example if i have a grass block of this nature right then light is coming then this light is reflect reflected here along that barrier Okay, so this is a normal, right? This angle here is the 90 degree angle, right? Then this angle here is the critical angle because this angle of reflection is 90. You get the concept, right? That is what we mean by critical angle. Number to calculate the critical angle. Now, what is the relationship between the critical angle and the diffractive index? All right? Here's what you need to know. Uh, reflective index is given by 1 over sine what? Sine C. Where C is a critical angle. So we are saying sine C is equal to 1 over the critical what? angle. Critical angle has been given to be 1.52. So 1.52. Get the calculator. So we are saying, you know how to find the angles, right? Trigonometry. The C will be equal to sine inverse of 1 over 1.52. That's how you do it. So shift, then punch sign the calculator, open the bracket, say 1 divided by 1.52. Then punch in the calculator. So it's giving me critical angle is 41. I'll leave it one decimal place. 41.1 degrees. So here we are going to separate critical angle is just 41.1 degrees. This is how you find the critical angle. The next one says, state two conditions for total internal reflection. For the same internal reflection to occur, what conditions are needed? And here are the two conditions needed. Number one, angle of incidence must be greater than I'll just say C than the critical angle I, I, I don't have space but for you write com complete like critical angle so for the angle of incidence must be greater than what the angle of what reflection are we together all right must be greater. so the angle of incidence so should be greater than the angle of uh, the critical angle number two is that light must move all right it must move uh from a medium or let's say from a media which is more dense or must move from a dense medium a dense medium to a less dense medium 
So what happens? For example, here, well, even here, light is moving from a dense media. The glass is dense because it has got critical angle, sorry, a diffractive index of 1.5. The air, so this is a glass, right? Now this is the air. So you discover that the glass is more optically dense than the air. Okay? This is how it is. Even here, the one that I was drawing is coming from the glass which is more dense, going out there in the air where it is less dense. So that is another way to maintain reflection can occur. Nevertheless, okay, there are Give one application or use of total internal reflection. Where can we use total internal reflection? Well, number one, in optic fibers. You know optical fibers, right? Those data carriers. They are cables underground that, that are able to carry uh, information closer to the speed of light. Okay? Yes, optic fibers. All right. Myrages, do you know about the myrages? The myrages, these are um, they cause the images when light, like from an oasis, is reflected on the layer of the hot air. Here is the thing when you are walking on the road, eh? have you ever like you know, witnessed something like there's water on the, on the road, but when you approach the road, there's nothing. We call it a myrage. That is a myrage, it is formed when hot air all right on the ground is heated then it rises up then light from the sun it reflects on it internally that is what causes that but there are also other applications even in medicals all right all right there are also other medical applications Alright, so it's been nice having you, and I hope that you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, follow for more, also start my online classes. Very affordable. You'll never regret.